everyone welcome to my channel so today i am going to teach exact differential equation there is a method of solving this uh, exact differential equation so m x comma y dx plus n x comma y dy is equal to 0 so do m by do x uh, do m by do y is equal to do n by do x should be equal that is called as exact fine now the solution for this exact equation is integration of m dx plus integration of n of y dy is equal to c now this we are integrating with respect to x keeping y as a fixed or a constant here for this n without x terms there should not be any x terms only y terms fine so let's start with the example now solve y cube minus 3 uh, x square y dx minus uh, x cube minus 3 x y square dy is equal to 0 now this term looks like a m from here you can see the given equation will be in this form okay this is your m and this is your n you can see here fine now I need to see that whether they are exact or not so I am going to differentiate this with respect to y so y cube differentiation of y cube is 3y square minus these two are constant so here this will become dy dy cancel so 3x square is remaining now the other side take this minus inside so minus x cube minus into minus is plus 3xy square fine now if i differentiate with respect to x minus x cube will become minus 3x square plus dx dx get cancelled so 3y square you can see both are exact equation so dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x both are same now solution for exact equation is integration so integration of m dx plus integration of n of y dy is equal to c m you can see i have taken from here fine now n why did i write 0 here because all the uh, terms containing x what is the uh, yeah, method of solving should not uh, contain x terms so all are containing x so i have written here 0 remember this it's very important now integration of uh, uh, yeah only dx is x why because it is y is fixed here y is fixed fine now 3y is fixed you can tell constant now integration of x square is a x cube divided by 3 so this 3 this 3 get cancelled so answer is y cube into x minus x cube into y is equal to c this is your final answer let's move on to the next question now question number 2 solve 5 x raised to 4 plus 3 x square y square minus 2 uh, into x y cube dx plus so on fine now this is your m and this is your n okay now the method of solving is you have to differentiate m by y with respect to y so i have written 5 and this but i am differentiating with respect to y then it will be 0 and uh, next term is 3x square is constant now differentiating y as a y square you get 2y minus 2x as a constant differentiating with y as a y cube is 3y square fine now 3 2s are 6 x square y minus 2 3s are 6 x y square fine from here now for n you need to differentiate with respect to x so 2y will become constant now differentiating with respect to x as a x cube will become 3x square minus 3y square keep as it is uh, differentiating with respect to x x square is 2x minus since there is no uh, x term in the numerator so we get a 0 because we are differentiating with respect to x now 3 2s are 6 x square y minus 3 2s are 6 x y square you can see both of equations are same so this is called as exact equation remember this is only called as a exact equation that is dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x now further solution is integration of m with dx plus integration of n uh, of y dy is equal to c now what is the m value from the given equation i have written here what is the n value from the given equation but why did i write zero here because uh, the rule says no x terms since in the first expression there is a x term so i have written zero in the second expression there is a zero uh, means x 
so I have written 0. The third expression is without x, so I have written here. Fine. Now, integration of x raised to 4 is x raised to 5 divided by 5. This 5, this 5 get cancelled. Now, integration of x square is a x cube divided by 3. This 3, this 3 get cancelled. Now, integration of x is a x square divided by 2. Now, this 2, this 2 get cancelled. Fine. Now, integration of y raised to 4 is y raised to 5 divided by 5. So, this 5, this 5 get cancelled. So, what is the... Uh, answer so the final answer will be x raised to 5 plus y square x cube minus y cube x square minus y raised to 5 is equal to 0 so this is your final answer let's move on to the next sum now the next question is solve y into 1 plus 1 by x plus cos y dx plus x plus log x minus x sin y dy is equal to 0. Now this whole term is m and this whole term is n. Now I am going to differentiate with respect to y. So if I differentiate with respect to y, what is remaining? 1 plus 1 by x is remaining. Fine. Now plus I am going to differentiate cos y with respect to y. So I'll get minus sin y. Now come to the other side. dn by dx. So first dx upon dx cancelled. 1 is remaining. Uh, d by dx of log x is 1 by x minus uh, this x. dx dx get cancelled. So sin y you should keep as it is. You can see these two equations they both are same. This is only called as exact equation once you get exact equation then further you need to solve with the help of integration so integration of m dx plus integration of n of y dy is equal to c now this m as i have told you i have taken from given so it is y into 1 plus 1 by x plus cos y this time i am going to integrate with the respect to x now keep y as it is integration of 1 is x plus integration of 1 by x is log x plus cos y you need to write as it is so integration of 1 will become again x now this 0 it is 0 because this expression is containing x now here the method of solving there should not be any x term so this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 because in this whole expression all terms are containing x fine so this will be your final answer so let's move on to the Next question. Now question number 4. Cos x into tan y plus cos of x plus y into dx plus sin x secant square y plus cos x plus y into dy is equal to 0. Now this whole term is m and this whole term is n. Fine. Now I am going to differentiate with respect to y. So since this is an x term, so it is a constant. So dy by uh, d by dy of a tan y is what secant square y minus means uh, d by dy of a cos is minus and d by dy of a cos is sine x plus y as it is. Okay. Now this n I need to differentiate with respect to x. So secant square y uh, remains as it is. So d by dx of sine is cos. Now d by dx of cos is minus sine x plus y. You can see these two are exactly same equation. So dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. Now to solve this further, integration of m dx plus integration of n of y dy is equal to c. Now what is m? The given equation. So I have written here. Now n, why did I write 0 here? Because this whole term contains x. This whole term contains x. What is the rule of uh, this? There should not be any x term. But since there is a x term, so I have written 0. Fine. Now, integration with respect to x. So, cos will become sin. Integration of cos will become sin tan y as it is. Now, integration of cos is a sin x plus y. 
because integrating with respect to x is equal to c. So this is your required solution. Now next question is dy by dx plus y into cos x plus sin y plus y divided by sin x plus x into cos y plus x is equal to 0. Now this is not in actual form. So I have cross multiplied. This I am cross multiplying with this. So sin x plus x cos y plus uh, x into dy. You can see here numerator part. This dx I am going to multiply here. So I will get this is equal to 0. But as we have solved in earlier problems, dy means it is a n and dx means it is m. Fine. Now, uh, dou n by dou x, it means I need to differentiate with respect to x. So, this d by dx of sine is cos and uh, write cos, uh, cos y as it is, d by dx of x both get cancelled. Now, again, plus dx dx cancel so answer is 1 now dou, y, uh, dou m by dou y is equal to this whole i have to differentiate with respect to y so cos x as it is dy by dy will cancel now d uh, by dy of a sine y is a cos y plus dy dy from here i'll get 1 you can see these two equations is exact equation because they both are equal Fine. So, further solution requires integration. So, integration of m dx plus integration of n of y dy is equal to c. What is m? m is here. This whole equation I have written here. Fine. Plus integration of 0, 0, 0. So, n value containing x, containing x, containing x. So, according to the rule, there should not be any x value. Since there is a x value in the n, so I have written 0, 0, 0. Fine. Now, integration with respect to x. So, cos x will become sin x. Y as it is. So, integration of sin y means what you should write? It is a uh, constant. Why? Because we are uh, integrating with respect to x. So, it is x. So, y write as it is. Integration of 1 dx is a x is equal to c. This completes your answer. I hope you understood this topic very well. Thank you for watching. Keep watching our channel and uh, uh, for more topics.